Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, and I'm here at the Museum of Television and Radio to commemorate Family Guy becoming the longest-running show in television history. Premiering in 1952 as a recurring sketch in the popular Dow Chemical Follies, Family Guy has survived 19 cancellations. Oh, here come some tourists. I know. I'll sit here and pretend I'm a wax figure. Who is that? That's the fat idiot from The Family Guy. Ugh, I hate that show. Me too. This is Peter, breadwinner and head of household. Lois is the name of his wife. Invite you to watch Family Guy. Dad, I overheard the fellas talking. What's knuckle dunk? Oh, atomic test. Put on your glasses. Never mind what your friend said. If you want to have fun with your girl... So what's going on if a guy says a girl has a red scare in her Harry Truman? Fence! So convenient. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Tucker, and this is the Radio 5 News. Now a word from our sponsor, Fred Trump Apartments. If you don't want to live with blacks, Fred Trump. Why don't you just buy a TV for the weekend, watch Elvis, and then return it on Monday and say it doesn't work? Boy, even in the 50s, you're a scumbag. That's a great idea, boy. We now return to 1950s sci-fi, which is always a man in a silver suit battling a monster. Uh, uh. Rawr! Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, previously of Radio 5 News. Tonight, I bring you a special report. Women in the workplace, hilarious or disturbing? Seemingly with no self-awareness whatsoever, I am shouting for some reason and will now suddenly be replaced by crude graphics. Lois, that's you! You took a job? Sorry, Peter, I wanted to tell you, but you were so dead set against it. Quiet, Elvis is on. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis Presley. And it was jumping. It really was. But I was banished to the sidewalk because I called one of the band guys a bad name. You can keep your job so we can afford this thing. Oh, that's great news, Peter. You know, Lois, I had an idea. Instead of eating in another room and talking, what if we bring the food out here and never talk again? Try Post Raisin Bran, made with raisins, which are grapes that have been dried in the sun for a long period of time. And bran, the hard outer layers of cereal grain, thereby sending signals to your brain telling you, hey, I'm hungry. And when you hear Mr. Hey, I'm hungry, be sure to have a hearty bowl of Post Raisin Bran. Boy, these commercials go by fast. You can barely absorb any of it. I don't know how you do it, Peter. Can we get some Raisin Bran? Do we have any Raisin Bran in the house? Just working day after day. I'm exhausted. By the way, Chris and Raisin Bran are at Raisin Bran practice. Peter, I got a surprise for you. Raisin Bran? For television? You're the greatest. Ah! You know, to, to the moon. Okay, you're threatening to punch me so hard I'm gonna fly to the moon? Like, like it's funny to hit me so violently my body will fly out of the atmosphere. Hey, guys, look what I got. It's a magic genie speaker that plays music, talks, and knows stuff, all without wires. But there's a wire. No more from you, please. Brandy. And now you just talk at it. Brandy, what's going on in the news? Breaking news from the Huffington Post. Prince bred purple dolphin. There was a time, not too long ago, when people would talk to each other. Yeah, the bad times, the sucky ages. Our society is doomed. No, I don't like this, David. No, that's enough. No, David, I don't like that. No. Hey, it's Brian Griffin. Wondering if you were free for dinner on Saturday. You died? Oh, so you're dead right now? What's that like? Is it good? Searching reviews. Top critic on Rotten Tomatoes says, I walked out of the theater and I'm Ed Helms. Okay, no download, but thanks. Maybe you are useful. Yeah, I bet they were all like, oh, no. Downloading Yoko Ono. Oh, no. Downloading more Yoko Ono. No, 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 oh, no. Downloading all Yoko Ono. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Boy, you know, I haven't stayed up all night talking like that in forever. And thanks for suggesting I buy that Fitbit. 
Customers who bought Fitbit also bought enormous exercise ball that's always in the way. History's largest bowel movement occurred in 1998 at a Hardee's in Memphis by Aretha Franklin. Damn, I owe Chris five bucks. Chris, you were right. It was 98. This new hat looks pretty sharp. I bet it does. I, um, I like you, Brandy. I like you, too. That's weird. You're on a weird date. Whoa, welcome to Hodgepodge Lodge. What the hell is all this crap? Oh, just stuff Brand suggested I buy. Ooh, that might be the Every Shark Tank Item Ever package. I didn't buy that. Peter bought that. I know, but I need one. Brian, before I go, there's something I want to tell you. What? What is it? The Grand Canyon spans 277 miles. It's hard being a dog. Maybe if you stopped feeling sorry for yourself, you could actually do something positive with your life. Oh, forget it. One day in your body, I would give it back to you with a new and improved life. You know what my response is to that? A through-the-nose dog exhale. You know, like you were at Disneyland. Brian, I present to you my particle interchange transporter. <laughs> This device will allow me to inhabit your body and you mine. That way, I can fix your life and then return your body to you. Stewie, this is ridiculous. Trust me, what do you have to lose? Literally nothing. Fine, but just for the record, every device you've ever made has broken at some crucial juncture. This one won't. All right, you talk me into it. <laughs> Your hand! It's mine! Yes! Stewie, I think it worked! We did it! We switched bodies! Hey! What the hell have you been complaining about? And God, your head! It's so heavy! Yeah, you gotta have a wide base. Let the shoulders do more. All right. All right, I think, I think I'm getting it. So how exactly are you planning to get me a job here? It's very easy. My research shows that every seven minutes, a professor is fired for having sex with one of his students. I simply wait until... Oh, here we go. Welcome to Poetry 101. I'm Professor Griffin. Please open your books to the introduction which defines what poetry is. Now rip it out. Just rip everything out that's not poetry. You wrote on the board, everything is poetry. Ignore that. He didn't know what a frontispiece was. Professor Griffin sucks. What's wrong, honey? Well, it's a long story, but I was really hoping to come home with a job and a girlfriend today. I could be your girlfriend and give you a job. <laughs> You're cute. I like you. Help! She's trying to eat me! Get back here! You owe me a hundred dollars! Anton! We got a runner! Our top story. An austere monetary policy has the European Union on the brink of collapse, threatening the entire global economy. Wow, I can't wait to see that fight. Me and the guys are gonna watch it at the clam. Peter, we had dinner with my parents that night. It's my mom's birthday. You have to be there. I did not go to the recital. What the hell? Jerome, what are you doing? The fight's tonight. Sorry, fellas. I just got a call. My mom had a stroke. I've got to go back to Long Island to see her. So beautiful. And there's no one to take care of her. So unfortunately, I'll be gone for a while. Look, I don't want to close the place either, but I don't have anyone to run it. Really? Well, um, you know, we know this place better than anyone. What if we run it for you? Yeah. You kidding? Running a bar is my dream. Well, that and waking up a rooster. Yeah! Ah! Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Well, look at us, running the clam. Could I get an old fashioned? Classic. Rum and Coke coming right up. And could I get a Moscow Mule? Rum and Coke for my comrade. Could I get a Rum and Coke? A uh, Pepsi okay? Well, business has really picked up. I think it's because of the trivia night Quagmire started. Here we go. Next question. And remember, no phones, people. Playing an honest game. No phone. I see. All right, you know what? That's it. Trivia night over. Three cotton picking weeks and no one's gotten a single answer wrong. Everyone's like, hey, settle down. We're not using our phones. I see you using your damn phones. And you know, I think some people may be here because of me. I spread the word about my sweet playlist. This is just a bunch of covers of Life is a Highway. We went to the wrong place. Hey, guys, I had a great idea. You know how people love mechanical bulls? Well, I got something even better.
Excellent choice. You know, not to tell tales out of school, but I sucked my first jug to this song. <laughs> Do you know anything about this? What? N no. Edgar? I was at Stanley Kaplan preparing for the ACT. Well, then I am sanguine. Huh? Aha! Guys, wake up. Oh man, the bull kicked our asses and totally trashed the bar! <coughs> hey, Jerome. Hey, Peter. I have some bad news. My mama... <laughs> She's dead. Oh, man, that sucks, Lois. Your friend is probably just jealous. You take good care of it, Peter. It's my prized possession. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't worry, guys. He's got another one over there. Peter, that's Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars? Who's she? He's a man. This is stupid. Come on, guys. We got no choice. We have to paint that portrait of Jerome's mother ourselves, and this is the only class in town. And you painted my smile. <laughs> I don't think Paul really wants to marry me. <laughs> oh, God, Jerome's going to be here any minute, and then we're totally screwed. Well, I guess all we can do now is the honorable thing. Make realistic puppets of ourselves to leave in the bar for Jerome to beat the crap out of. Limbs in your straw-filled plaid shirts. <laughs> It's working. Good plan, Peter. Thanks, guys. Oh, no, I left the real me in there. 